Distance off, second bearing. Practice problem one. Let's get right into it. Distance off, second bearing. Practice problem one. First thing we do is record the information. So here we are. Practice one, it says, you are steaming on a course of 25 degrees true at 15 and a half knots. So it gives us our course. Our course is equal to 0 to 5 degrees true. And it gave us our speed. 20. Our speed is equal to 15.5 nautical miles per hour. And then it says at 645, you observe a lighthouse bearing 59 degrees true. So it gave us a, our first time. It gave us time one, which was equal to 6 hours and 45 minutes. 6 hours 45 minutes. It gave us bearing one. First bearing, which was equal to 59 degrees true. 0, 5, 9 degrees true. And then it goes on and says, at 655, the same lighthouse bears 75 degrees true. It gave us another time and another bearing. So it gave us time two, which is equal to 655. 0, 6, 6 hours, 55 minutes, and it gave us bearing 2. Bearing 2 was equal to 0, 0,75 degrees true. 0, 0,75 degrees true. And then it asks, what is your distance off at the second bearing? It wants to know how far away are we from that second bearing. So what is it asking? It's asking distance off second bearing that's what it wants to know so we use this table that's in Bowditch table 18 we need the difference between the course and bearing one and the course and bearing two so we're going to write this don't worry about this triangle it just means change the change between course and bearing one equals course minus bearing one so what's our course 25 degrees, 0 to 5 degrees. What's our bearing one? 59 degrees, 0, 5, 9 degrees. We just put that in our calculator. Some of them come out positive, some are negative. Don't worry about it. It's just, what is that number? Turn the calculator on and go 25 minus 59. 25 minus 59 equals negative 34. I always put the negative in there. It doesn't really matter. So 34 degrees equals our change between the course and bearing one. Now we need to do it for bearing two. So what is the difference between our course and bearing two? We can find that with course minus bearing two. So the course, 25, 0 to 5 degrees. Our bearing two, 75. 0, 0,75 degrees. Again, with our calculators, 25 minus 75 equals 50. It comes out to negative 50. Don't worry about the negative. It's fine. This equals the difference between the course and bearing 2. Now that we have these two pieces of information, we can go to our table. So come in here. In this here. top row, this is for bearing 1, and we have 34. So we're right here, 34. This side row is for bearing 2. We have 50, so we come down to 50. And here we are. See that? 2.03, and we're going to record that on the board. We got 2.03 from our table. And that table, now we take that and we times that by the distance we traveled between the times we took this bearing. So what this happens is 2.03 times the distance we traveled between those sightings equals the distance off our second bearing. To get distance, what do we need? Distance equals speed times time, right? We that little D street thing, we can find it. 
right? Distance is speed times time. Well, we have a speed, we need a time, right? But we can get that time because we're given two, so we can find the change in time, how long between these bearings. So we'll say the change in time is equal to time two minus time one. Time two, six hours and 55 minutes. 6.55 times 1, 6.45, 0, 6, 4, 5. So, 5 minus 5, 0. 5 minus 4, 10. 10 what? 10 minutes. Well, to use it here, we need hours. So, 10 minutes times, it's going to be 10 divided by 60. But I just like to keep my units straight. So minutes cancel, you're left with hours. 10 divided by 60, what's that equal? 10 divided by 60 equals 1.66666. We're going to round to three decimal places. That'll make these problems come out correctly. So 0 0.167, 0 0.167 hours. Now we have a time. Okay. Now that we have a time, we have both of these. So our distance is going to equal speed, 15.5. 15.5 nautical miles per every hour traveled. Times our time, 0.167 hours. 0.167 hours. We'll put that in our calculator. So 15.5 times 0.167 equals, round to three places, 2.589. 2.589, that's our distance. If you check back up here, what do we say? This number from the table times the distance is going to equal our distance off the second bearing. So we just go 2.03 times 2.589 nautical miles equals 2.03 times 2.589 equals, and then the answers are always just going to be round to one decimal place. So 5.25567, it's going to be 5.3. 5.3 nautical miles off the second bearing. That is the right answer. Let's check it out. Here we are in one. You could see A is 5.3. Let's check that with the answers. There we are again. One is A. So that's the solution to distance off, second bearing, practice problem one. We're going to go on. We're going to solve five of these. And then you're going to have two to do on your own. We'll see you on the next one.